Hello everyone, my name's Sean. This is Backseat Journal Productions, and today I'm cooking dinner! That's right guys, today we're going to have ourselves some bratwurst, and we're also going to have ourselves a new thing. This is a potato dish, potato, <laughs> boil up, mash them, stick them in stew. Um, this is called a uh, German cart offel puffer. Or toffel puffer. That right there. What it says. So, we're gonna get into it and uh, get cracking, guys. Alright, so we're back, and uh, you know, it's kind of chilly outside. I don't feel like grilling. So, I'm just gonna pan fry these things. How do we do this? Uh, we got to pan fry price the uh, thawed bratwurst in the frying pan, uh, simmer uh, for 15 uh, 20 minutes uh, while it's covered in water. So, that's a good idea. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to move over here to the stove. Let's go. But before we do that, wash those dirty hands. All right, y'all. So, like I said, we're getting set up over here at the stove, and we have our bratwurst right here. Uh, it does say that we need to cover it uh, with a little bit of water, put it in the pan, so I guess we'll just do that, shall we? Bring our little camera with us over here and set it down. All right, so let me just turn this, uh, what kind of heat setting is this one? Simmer. I guess I'll need to bring the water to a boil. First things first, let's put our sausages in there. Not the plastic. Not the plastic. So we've covered them with our water right there. And uh, you know, I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna throw in some apple cider vinegar. Never tried this method before. Like I said, I really didn't want to grill anything today. Just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, try something new. So we'll throw a little bit of extra flavor in there. Never care. I'm a quarter cup or so, who knows. And we'll let that come to a boil. Now, let's go take care of those potatoes, shall we? All right, guys, so I did say that we needed peeled potato, so uh, I guess we need to get to peeling, don't we? I have these potatoes peeled. Now it is time to run them through the mandolin, guys. We're gonna put them through here and make them very small. So here we go. Be sure to watch those fingers. This thing will bite you. Supposed to use a hand guard, but I just don't know where mine is right now. So I'm just going to be extra cautious. All right, broads are boiling, so we need to bring those down to a simmer. We'll give them a little shaky, shaky right there. And cover them up. Timer. Fifteen minutes. Okay, so now that you have your potatoes thoroughly uh, shredded, you're supposed to set them inside of the sink, and you're supposed to pat them dry with paper towels. Smoosh out all of the water, they say. So what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get rid of some of the excess moisture, some of the excess water that is in here, guys. Smoosh it all out, guys. You know, just about like that. Now we have to chop our onion. 
So, like I always do, I will take that side off right there, cut it right down the middle on the root end, and of course, take the skin off. They suggest that you shred the onion. I like the Japanese steel. Just saying. So, business as usual, except we're just going to make these really, really, really fine slices here. Check this out. We're just going to cut them about like this. I guess this would almost be like a Julian onion. Because if I do this like that, like that, and I separate these, then, no, just a really fine dice. And then these right here are kind of like a little Julian onion. See? Similar to the potato, not quite. I am okay with it. So, I'm going to put it into the flour mixture over here. Chop those up a little bit more. Now, of course, you can go the traditional method. And, oh, I'm just gonna chop my onion up real fine. Okay, and we're back. So we have our onions and our flour. We need about a tablespoon of salt. So uh, just kind of eyeball it. We'll throw a tablespoon of salt in there. You're also going to need the assistance of two eggs. I told you before, I like to crack mine right there on the countertop. A flat surface will do. Let's go for the one-handed. Oh yeah. No shells. All right, get the egg off of our hands here. And now, we're just going to add in the potatoes. And give them another squeeze before I put them in here. And another squeeze. We're just gonna mix it all together. I think I might need a bigger bowl. Yep, gonna need a bigger bowl. All right. So let's get all the goodies out of the old bowl. All right, set that in here. Now we're supposed to work this into a homogeneous mixture, it says. So we're just gonna mix and mix and mix until it seems like it's as mixed as mixed can be. All right, guys, so here are the ouch. Alright guys, so here are the bratwurst. They've got a couple of minutes left. Let's just take a look at them. Give them a little flippy flip here. Yeah, just a little zipperoo. Just like that. Alright. Sure, let's set that off to the side. In our cast iron skillet, we are heating up a little bit of uh, frying oil to fry our little potato pancakes, our German potato pancakes. So really looking forward to that heating up and uh, yeah, we're gonna get frying. Okay, so the oil is hot. We've got our pancake, uh, potato pancake mixture. We're just gonna take one, plop it right down in there, form it into a little patty. Don't think the oil is quite hot enough. So I'm gonna hold off on that for just a second. Timer is done on our brats, so let us drain the water. Now we're gonna return them to the stove to brown them up. Give me a good meal, man. All right. We're cover back on here, let these brown up. All right, these are nice and golden brown. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit more, a little bit more. Salt and 
I think these are done. Ooh, yeah. Side right there. A little bit more oil, not much, just a little bit. Let it heat up some, and we'll drop some more on there now. Look at this. While we wait, we might as well uh, scratch off a lottery ticket, right? Monopoly, $5 ticket, so I think you have to up to $250,000. The odds on this ticket are 1 in 4.19, I do believe. We also got the back scratcher. Henry back here is on standby, so uh, let's just uh, get the scratching, man. Alrighty, guys, Monopoly 50X, numbers matching and simple game. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Henry's in the way over there. Henry's in the way over there. We got ourselves 34, 21, 12, 14. Hashtag corn on the screen, man. Let's get a big win. Big win. We got 29, 24, a 35. That's a one away. 16, and a 32. Not a win on that rope. Going man, looking for 2x, 10x, 50x. Lucky number 13, 15 going for the straight. Bumping the camera too, sorry about that guy. 28 right there, 27, 25, nope. 39, 18, 11, 23. And number 19, nowhere on the front side. Let's check the back, see if we can find that little monopoly there. Got some kind of pot of gold, a horseshoe, bar or a wallet, pearls, and a diamond. Oh well, oh well. Let's set this off to the side. Let's break out Henry's vacuum. Clean up our little lottery messes. It doesn't do so well on this kind of countertop. We're gonna have to actually break out the uh, the real the real cleaner. But hey guys, thank you for watching. Let's go get some more pancakes. All right, so here they are in all of their deliciousness. Looks like a pretty good dinner to me, guys. You know what bratwurst tastes like. You know what these probably taste like, but uh, I'll let you know on the live stream tomorrow night, or even tonight maybe, I'll let you know how they taste tonight on the live stream or tomorrow, the next live stream. The next live stream, there we go. And uh, yeah, right now I'm starving. So uh, be sure and tune in. It's gonna be 8.30 Central Standard Time right here on YouTube. I'll see you then, guys. Bye. And a very special thank you goes out to Darkstorm Spiritual Adventures and Crafting, Bamboo Soldier, Nikki Pink, Itchin' to Scratch, NEW Vending, WI, and JJ General 1 RK. Don't forget the one, guys. And I will see you all tomorrow afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time of day you would like to watch for another episode of Good Mario Morning or something like that. See you later, guys. Bye!